Hey there, when it comes to solar, a question that a lot of people have is what difference does adding a battery storage system make? Obviously, it's more expensive to buy a battery as well, but how does that break down in terms of where the energy goes? And most importantly, what difference does it make to saving money on electricity? So let's jump in and I'll show you how this all breaks down. So I've loaded up the solar design software and I've added a 4.2 kilowatt system. So that's 11 solar panels. This is pretty standard for a lot of UK homes. I put in the average electricity consumption for most people in the UK, which is about three and a half thousand kilowatt hours per year. If you look at the, the consumption offset, um, we're actually producing in total more electricity over a whole year than what we're using. But the bill reduction is only 41%. And that's because if you look here, you can see that the electricity that's getting produced is obviously when it's sunny during the day. And a lot of that is getting exported to the grid. And at the moment in the UK, if you export to the grid, you get paid less than what you pay the grid to buy electricity. So it's important to try to use as much of your self-generated electricity as possible, because that means that you're reducing the amount that you're paying to the grid. So if I look at the uh, overall proposal, we'll be able to see what that looks like in terms of cost savings. And then what I'll do is compare that to um, what it looks like with a battery. This is the estimated current bill and then the new bill with solar. So it's gone down from about £95 a month to 56 which is pretty good. And we're calculating that we're going to save about um, almost £36,000 um, over the whole lifetime of the system. So it's still pretty good. Let me add in a battery now. So I'm going to add um, a 5.12 kilowatt hour Fox battery. Firstly, if I go back to the summary here, we can see that it's really changed what's going on here. So this red bit here, exporting to the grid, you can see that's massively reduced. And then instead of that going out to the grid, it's actually charging the battery throughout the day. And then you can see right up until the end or towards the end of the evening here, we're using power that's stored in the battery. And the bill reduction has gone up to 62% because we're now using almost 60% of our energy ourselves, whereas before it was about 30%. So we've reduced the monthly bill down to £36 a month. And over the whole lifetime, we're saving now um, just over £39,000. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of the difference that having battery storage as part of your solar system can make. And obviously the different sizes of battery come into play, but the system that I've shown you there is pretty typical of what works for most UK homes. Obviously, if you use more power, you're going to need a bigger battery. So uh, hopefully that helps. And thanks for watching this.